Well, if you've seen the latest cover of Sports Illustrated, check it out. We're going way back, all the way to 1908. Of course, the last time the Chicago Cubs won the World Series, they were on the cover of Sporting Life magazine, guys. Check that out. Well, we've given that cover an update. Tom, you wrote this cover story. Now, we, we didn't Whoa. just uh, <laughs> jinx the Cubs now, did we? Did we double jinx the Cubs? No, we didn't. But I, Jake Arrieta looks to me, he's up on your upper left there. It looks like he could have played in 1908. He got that look about him, that old school look. But listen, 1908, man. I mean, you talk about a long time ago. Mark Twain and Florence Nightingale were still alive when the Cubs won their last World Series. Now, this team understands it's been a long time, but... The issue that there's pressure on this group of guys because they haven't won since 1908, I don't buy that at all. Maybe the fans feel the weight of expectations and history. The players are so loose, extroverted. I really like the makeup of the team. Very interesting. Ken, I don't know, Mark Twain was alive. That puts a lot of pressure on you writers in case the Cubs do win. What's your lead? <laughs> We're not necessarily going to hold up that pressure or okay. hold up under that pressure, but the players will. I'm totally with Tom here. They've got a swagger about them. It's a confident group. They like to win. They're very good at winning. I don't expect 1908 will phase them one bit. Again, step up and take fights the way that Connor does last minute and stay as consistent as Connor. You haven't seen something like that since Rhonda. I mean, when Rhonda burst onto the scene, she, she 